SketchUp units are actually a property of the current model that you have open. So in order to change the units, you need to go to Window and Model Info and then select Units. And here you can select from uh, three different preset um, unit types, architectural, engineering, and fractional, or you can select decimal and have complete control over the different um, units. And here's where you would access metric and uh, feet and inches. But the thing is, this isn't gonna change the default unit for the next time you open SketchUp, and it really has no effect on which units you can use while modeling. So what do these settings actually do and how can you configure it so that it works for every single time you open up SketchUp. That's exactly what I'm gonna cover in this video. Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com, author of SketchUp to Layout and co-author of SketchUp and Layout for Architecture. So units can be displayed in a number of different formats. So architectural is gonna show feet and inches for linear dimensions and square feet for area, and cubic feet for volume. Now, you do have this toggle to force the display of the zero inch whenever the dimension lands on a whole foot. So for instance, if I have a three foot uh, line segment here, by default, it's just gonna show three feet, but if you toggle this on, it's going to show three feet, zero inches. The next one we have I'm gonna skip over decimal right now. The next one uh, that's pre-configured is engineering. That's gonna show a decimal foot for length, square feet for area, and cubic feet for volume. And then fractional will show fractional inches for length, um, square inches for area, and cubic inches for volume. Now, the last one being decimal, this is the one that allows you to completely customize your units, so you can actually select a different unit type for each one of these. And most importantly for the metric users out there, this is where you can select metric dimensions. But here's what's really cool about SketchUp. You can actually use any unit of measurement at any time, no matter what you have set in this window. So for instance, if I were to draw a line segment even though I have centimeters set as my default unit, I could type in five feet, enter, and it would actually draw a line at exactly five feet. Now when I select it, it's gonna display whatever five feet is in centimeters because I have centimeters set, um, but that's, an, that's actually five feet long. So if I switch this to inches and select that, you can see it's, well, 60 inches if I go to feet it's five feet. So it doesn't matter um, what unit you have set. So I could type in 60 inches. I could type in uh, three feet, five inches. So you can feed both feet and inches at the same, at the same time. I could type in 30.6 millimeters, or that's kind of small, 30.6 centimeters. And SketchUp is going to draw that in real world units. So if SketchUp allows you to do this, what's the point of having these default unit settings? What do they actually do? Well, what do you think would happen if I were to draw a line and I didn't type in a unit at the end? So right now I have the unit set to feet. If I type in just the number six and press enter, what SketchUp will do is it'll revert to whatever default unit you have set here under the length dropdown. So the length unit will define the default unit anytime you omit a unit symbol, but just remember, you can literally use any unit of measurement at any time uh, whenever you're drawing, using a drawing or modification tool in SketchUp. So really what these settings do is affect what dimensional information is output to you in a number of different situations. Now, for example, you know, we've, we've looked at the entity info window uh, quite a bit. So whatever is displayed here will be driven by whatever you have set here. Another area is the measurements box. So like when you're using a lot of tools, you'll be seeing um, 
measurement information down here in the measurements box and the unit that you see down here will be determined by whatever you have set over here. Another um, thing that is driven by these settings is the label tool. So by default, the label tool will give you information about whatever you anchor the label to. So if I anchor this label to a group uh, that's a solid, it will read out the uh, volume of that. And of course, the tape measure tool um, will also do the same thing, not only when you're hovering over um, different parts of your model, but when you actually measure between two points, um, the whatever is read out to you is driven by what you have set in the model info panel. Now you've probably seen this setting here, the display precision. And I want to emphasize that whatever you have set here has no effect on the accuracy of SketchUp. SketchUp is pretty much 100% accurate. Now let me show you what I mean by that. So if I set my length units to feet and the display precision to a whole number, so no decimal points, and let's say I draw a line that's eight and three quarters long. So I'm gonna create this line, I'm gonna type in 8.75 inch and press enter. Now, again, it doesn't matter if you use fractions or decimal when you're typing in inches, both of those work. Now, when we select this edge, the length will show as uh, approximately one foot. And so really that's because we set the display precision to round all of the dimensions um, that are shown to us to the closest foot. But in reality, that edge is actually eight uh, and three quarters of an inch. And so what SketchUp does is it uses the tilde uh, symbol to indicate to you that that number that is shown to you is being rounded. So it's not the actual length, it's a rounded dimension. So if I change the units to inches and select that line segment again, because we still have the precision set to a whole number, it's going to round it to the closest inch. So it's gonna show as nine inch. Again, we know it's not nine inch because it's showing the, uh, the little tilde symbol here. So if we keep going with it and select this precision, so 0, 0.00 and select it, now it's showing the actual dimension. And we know it's the actual dimension because there's no tilde symbol in front of the unit. So the display precision uh, setting has no effect on the accuracy of SketchUp while you're modeling. It's only gonna affect what dimensions are read back to you or displayed to you in the number of different ways that SketchUp shows you dimensions. Now you might have also noticed the length snapping feature here. This will allow you to set a default snap interval. So for instance, if I set this to one foot, whoops. So if I set that to one foot, um, it will basically snap the cursor to one foot intervals as I model. So I'm using the rectangle tool and it's snapping to one foot intervals. Now this doesn't prevent you from typing in an actual dimension once you're you know, using a tool. It's just for when you're kind of free floating over the workspace using different tools, it'll snap to whatever interval that you've set. Now when you disable this, it doesn't actually uh, disable the standard SketchUp inference system, like you're still gonna be able to snap to different points in your model. That you actually can't turn off, that's always gonna be on. But it'll disable the feature where it's gonna snap at that interval. And lastly, we have angle units here, which are very similar to your measurement units up here, but they're gonna affect things like the protractor or the rotate tool. So right now, we have angle snapping enabled and it's gonna to snap to a 15 degree interval. So you can see how the guide here is snapping at 15 degree intervals. So if I change this to 45, now it's gonna snap every 45 degrees. Now this doesn't prevent me from typing in something manually. So I could type in 35, so 35, enter and that's snapped exactly to 35 degrees. So it doesn't 
setting the precision does not affect you know, how accurate you can be with SketchUp. You can always manually override it. So it's just important to keep that in mind. That's why I keep emphasizing it. All right, and if you want these unit settings to be set as the default in your template, so every time you open SketchUp, these are the settings that you're gonna see. All you need to do is save this file as a template because this these settings are carried with the model itself. They're not actually um, part of the SketchUp preferences, they are part of the model preferences, so to speak. So all you need to do is go to File, Save as Template, and create a name, description, and if you set this as a default template, next time you open SketchUp, those unit settings will be already applied to your model. So you don't have to do that every time you open SketchUp. I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna get more SketchUp tips just like this, um, I do a lot of SketchUp videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.